In case until now you haven't fully believed that someone like Nicola Sturgeon doesn't actually care about people, well, we now have another evidence. In the middle of a cost of living crisis and essentially a financial recession, an inflation crisis, she's officially launching another, a new independent campaign to have a new uh, referendum, second referendum, basically. And this is a weird time for her because even some of the SNP voters are lashing out, saying that while well, we want to be independent, really? Now? Her line is that the conclusion, is very, very clearly, is that Scotland could be doing much better as an independent country, which is hilarious. It's not a given. It's not by default because, and we said the same about Brexit, leaving the European Union and or leaving the, the United Kingdom. It just gives you the ability to choose your destiny. You could either become a terrible country or an amazing country. It's not by default. So these empty promises can be completely ignored. But at first, Let's go to the First Minister and I'm going to tell you the biggest flaw in her plan. After everything that has happened, Brexit, Covid, Boris Johnson, it is time to set out a different and better vision. It is time to talk about making Scotland wealthier and fairer. It is time to talk about independence and then to make the choice. Wow, I didn't know that she could do funny. Oh yeah, Boris Johnson as well. That's that's part of a good reason that let's that just leave the United Kingdom. They're trying to be smart this time. Part of their program and this plan that they have, basically like a manifesto for an independent Scotland, they are now trying to focus on the issues that they failed last time. They want to talk about currency. They want to have a debate about that. Because you remember back in 2014, it was the, their position was by default Oh, we didn't actually think about this because we assumed we could keep sterling. Sure, sure you can. Taxation, they want to um, talk about that, which would be absolutely brilliant, considering the SNP, uh, their main ideological platform is socialism. So let's see how the Scottish people would respond to that. And they're going to talk about defence, which is a very uncomfortable conversation, considering uh, we still got Trident there. And uh, they are now obsessed with NATO, unlike before. And, of course, EU membership but the biggest problem is that she just says that well because part of our manifesto last time standing and winning was to have a second referendum by default we have the mandate i was re-elected as first minister just over one year ago on a clear commitment to give the people of scotland the choice of becoming an independent country and the people of Scotland elected a Scottish Parliament with a decisive majority in favour of both independence and the right to choose. The Scottish Parliament, therefore, has an indisputable democratic mandate, and we intend... One, Nicola Sturgeon, you were not re-elected as First Minister. That's not how parliamentary democracy works. You were elected as a member of the parliament that you have, uh, and then inside the parliament, like how we have in the House of Commons, we don't directly elect prime ministers or first ministers. So that's a lie. Secondly, if she's going to use the argument of it wasn't our manifesto, so we have a mandate, then why is it that the same group of people, like the, the, the socialists and the liberal left base and the Ramonas who are kicking off uh, because of the Rwanda plan, or just generally speaking, border control, they say that the government, Boris Johnson's government, don't have the mandate. Well, it was in the manifesto. It was in the manifesto to sort out uh, the uh, the border issue. So, but they say there's no mandate. <laughs> even even though it was in the manifesto. So make up your mind. But it's about timing. Not just because of the cost of living crisis. Not just because of the recession. And not just because they don't really have a full plan for an independent Scotland. Timing is wrong because they just had another member of the SNP uh, have been in, in trouble again. This is a continued crisis that they, get, they had with Grady uh, over misconduct. And there are a lot of other uh, minions in the SNP establishment who are still either under un invest investigation or have been investigated or they're just basically purely dodgy. So good luck with that. Bring it on and see what we can actually do about this. And I wonder if this time Nicola Surgeon is also going to say this is a once in a generation votes. We're going to come back in half an hour. Subscribe to the channel. I'm my TCN. We are the media.